So in this problem, it's from A to B. Um, it takes to fly 1.06 seconds, and then always check your units, so it's meters and meters. So the actual question is find the x and y component of the fly's average velocity between A and B. So we know that the arrow is going to be pointing from A to B like this, and then also um, if we break it up into the x and y, we can predict if it's going to be positive or negative. So this is the positive side of the x-axis, so the x component is going to be positive. Here it's the positive side of the y-axis, so it's going to be positive. And then average velocity, that gives us cl the clue that the units should be in velocity, which are meters per second. So now we ruled out the most common mistakes, and we can start with our problem. So to find the x components, the first thing we need is just the simple formula. Velocity equals distance over time. So do we have distance? Well, our graph is in meters. So yes, we do have distance, because all we have to do is look um, from A to wherever B is. So this is our x distance. This is our y distance. So we actually have the x and y component of distance from A to B. But that's not what they want. They want velocity. So if we just gave them the answer of A is equal to 8 meters from A to B, the x component, that'd be wrong because it's not velocity. We already predicted that the answer should be in meters per second. So we need this time. And we can't get time from this graph because both of them are in meters. So if, we, if I, I just drew my triangle here, um, so it's 8 meters um, horizontally and 5 meters up. And that's, that's all it is, because it's from A to B, where B is, the X component. So it's um, 10 minus 2, and then up here, it's going to be 6 minus, 6 minus 2, right here. And that's the formula for velocity. This velocity is distance over time. It's going to be final distance minus fin uh, initial distance, final time minus initial time. So it's going to be 10 minus 2 for the x part. Because that's what it is, 10 minus 2 over time, which was given in the problem um, right here, 1.06 seconds. And then we get our answer. It's 8 over 1.0 seconds. Always write your units. This was in meters. This was given in the problem, and that's seconds. And then we check, make sure it, it was positive. We predicted it would be positive. Uh, this is going to be three sig figs because, um, because we, the seconds were in three sig figs, and then the units would be meters per second. Now we do the y part, and the y part is once again the same. Velocity is equal to distance over time. Velocity is equal to 6 minus 1. Um, this is actually at 6. It looks a little above it, but it's supposed to be at 6. And then so it's going to be 6 minus 1. This is supposed to be at 1. So 6 minus 1, and then the time is 1.06 seconds right there. So that's all the information we need. We get 5 over 1.06. Remember the units, um, since this was on the graph, it would be meters. Since this was given from the paragraph, it would be seconds. And then we check the beginning, middle, and end. So it, is it positive or negative? We predicted it would be positive. Um, it would be 3 sig figs, and it would be meters per second. Um, so I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.